colleague, for uh, my <laughs> yeah, senator, a uh, colleague in the legal profession, um, the speaker for raising that very important issue. When I was uh, appointed to this office, I said that one of the responsibilities to address marginalization. And Mr. Speaker, true as I have uh, said, if you, rep if you apply the principle of equality, then Tana River has equal number of paved roads like all, like would have been expected in the 47 counties. But I've said Tana River is, is not the same size with Nairobi, for example, and it's not the same size with uh, Nakuru, um, so speak, and therefore the principle of equity demands that uh, these are the counties in the north that, Mr. Speaker, require uh, affirmative action. But be that as it may, Mr. Speaker, uh, we cannot accept this argument all the time when um, these questions come. When you ask the people of Nakuru, Nakuru is a beneficiary of about 170 kilometers of highway between Nairobi and, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, somewhere past Salga, actually up to almost uh, Makutano. But every time you have a conversation with leaders and you tell them we are maintaining the road from Nairobi to Salga to Makutano, they tell you, no, don't tell us about this highway. Can you tell us about Nakuru roads? Mr. Speaker, in the absence of that highway, there is no Nakuru County. The business of Nakuru County is determined by that infrastructure. What roads do is that they bring people to do business along this road. And therefore, you will never have Naivasha Town, Nakuru Town, Maimayu, and all that. The same way, Mr. Speaker, we, the Tana River County cannot deny the highways in their county. Because, Mr. Speaker, these highways are being maintained by the Ministry and the Government of Kenya. And we must make them even more terrible to make sure that, and if you go to these highways, that's where business is, 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 is doing well because of the road. And that's why the Honorable Senator is asking for us to also go to unpaved roads to create other new highways. Roads uh, if we are not careful, leaders will come back and say, forget about this highway. Tell us about <laughs> the other inland roads. So first of all, let's own up that we have 442 kilometers of roads, paved roads in, in, in uh, Tana River County, and then ask ourselves, what are we capable of doing? I will answer this question this way. Mr. Speaker, this question has not come in this very session, but it's important for this August House to be appreciate that we have a very serious challenge of pending bills. Mr. Speaker, we have up to uh, 150 billion shillings of work already done, certificates that have been issued, Mr. Speaker, ready to be paid, and Mr. Speaker, we have another commitment of 600 billion of roads committed to be done. Mr. Speaker, I will be a liar to say here that we will, you know, just do all new roads, start from zero, and confirm to members here that we will do it. My ministry is doing everything humanly possible to do away with these pending bills and committed amount. Uh, for the last one week, I was in China to have a conversation with the Chinese Exim Bank and the Ministry of uh, Commerce, Transport, Mr. Speaker, and Foreign Affairs. Very good meetings to discuss ways of partnering with them to see if they can help us shoulder this burden of pending bills. Mr. Speaker, because most of our contractors are Chinese and they have a portfolio of about 400 billion of these roads that are pending. But I have an answer to the Honorable Senator that it is possible for us to do these roads if we now in the next financial year take the equalization fund amount that is coming to your county, perhaps, uh, hopefully, it will be about 200 million. We sit down together and say we can construct this uh, roads that you've said are worth about 500 million in three years, commence with the 200 million will be given as a seed money, and because the contract is for three years, we can do those roads. Alternatively, Mr. Speaker, we can sit down and see how we can work around money that was for maintenance of roads and see if we can safeguard it to pave the roads that we think uh, uh, we can pave. Mr. Speaker, the last thing I will extend an invitation to the Tana River County. First of all, um, we've been holding meetings uh, with various counties, Mr. Speaker, and discussing holistically the roads with all leaders, the governor, the senator, the uh, women representative, and the elected MPs. Um, Mr. Speaker, and this engagement has been extremely useful for the counties uh, whose senators are here, and we've been able to hold that meeting, like uh, 
Nyandarwa, Mr. Speaker. I see the Senator of Nyandarwa is here as an example. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I urge them to attend those meetings. And we can, Mr. Speaker, agree on the date in this month of uh, May or June that we can have all the leaders of Tana uh, River and discuss all the roads holistically. Then eventually we see what we can be able to do. I have found a problem, a monumental problem, Mr. Speaker. But we are not here to write another book of lamentation. Our job is to solve problems. And if we must solve problems, we must become, um, Mr. Speaker, creative in doing so. And I need the support of all the leadership of this country and the leaders of various counties. We sat with leaders from Migori. We sat from leaders, Mr. Speaker, uh, from Nakuru. We have sat uh, with leaders, Mr. Speaker, from Turkana. And every time we sit together, we find solutions on which roads we are supposed to prioritize and, and pave. So I agree, Honorable Senator. I don't just want to come and give fake promises in Tana River. Once we sit down and agree and budget, we can now go together to the ground and see what is going to be done and what is the standard of what has been done. I am more than committed as a chair of devolution committee in this house. I made uh, that time a deliberate decision to go to all the marginalized county. Uh, Senator Dulo who was a member of that committee seated here, knows that I, my passion for uh, Mr. Speaker correcting historical injustice for marginalized counties is, is there. And I want to see that all the marginalized counties are brought to the level that they can be able to feel that they are part of, the, of this country. We will do that, Honorable Senator. I thank you.